Hello everybody. Welcome to Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel and then press the bell icon. So whenever there is a new video uploaded on this channel, you may get the notifications about the new video upload. You may watch variety of videos on this channel and build up your engineering and management skills. I am Narendra Sharma and in this particular video, I will discuss about the 12 steps of TPM implementation program. What are these steps and how would you implement the TPM with the help of these 12 steps. So starting with the four phases of TPM implementation. These phases are the phase one is preparation, phase two is kickoff, phase three is a rollout, phase four is consolidation. In phase one, prepare how to implement the TPM program. Phase two is kickoff. Inform your customers and suppliers officially that we are going to implement the TPM program. In phase three, actually implement the TPM program with the help of eight pillars of TPM. And in phase four, study how much you have achieved, how much you have reduced the losses at a particular site of the organization and how much you improve the productivity of a factory. So starting with the first phase of the TPM implementation program, the first phase is top management, the first phase which is preparation and the step one is first top management declares its commitment to introducing TPM and hence announce, announce the TPM implementation program in in-house TPM seminars informed to board of directors and heads of department. This is the first step that the top management officially declares that and inform the board of directors and heads of departments and announce that that we are going to implement the TPM program. Then in the second step start a public uh, publicity campaign and TPM orientation for the training of senior middle and junior management about the TPM coursework. So they the the senior middle and junior management must know must have improved their knowledge about the TPM. Then come to the third step it is the it is about the TPM policy and the targets according to each factory or site. So according to each factory or each site of the organization clearly set the business objectives. What you want for implementation of the TPM and what are the objectives of your TPM program and what is the policy of TPM implementation through which you are going to implement the TPM program. Survey the losses in the factory and establish a baseline and find out what kinds of improvements are needed to reduce the losses and improve the productivity of the factory. And in the fourth step, establishment of TPM promotion organization, management led pilot models are then commenced. So in this fourth step, set up a TPM steering committee and in the same way, set up the pillar wise subcommittees and there should be a TPM office in each factory. Now in the fifth step, 
prepare a master plan. This master plan includes a particular timeline. For example, formulate this master plan for three years and develop what kind of activities and prepare the timeline There's that these kind of activities must be achieved within a month. These targets, targets must be achieved within a quarter and these goals must be achieved within an year. So this way in the preparation phase, prepare the, prepare how would you implement the TPM program. So this is the preparation phase. Now come to the second phase which is kickoff phase. And in the second, uh, sixth step of the kickoff phase, invite your customers and suppliers, organize a seminar and invite your customers and suppliers and then inform them officially that we are going to implement the TPM in our company or in our factory and the implementation of TPM in our organization not only benefits to us, us in fact it will also benefit to the, our customers and our suppliers also. So this was the kickoff phase and the third phase is rollout phase. In this phase uh, the organization actually rolled out the TPM program with the help of eight pillars of TPM. As you know that the eight pillars of TPM are focused improvement, autonomous maintenance, effective maintenance, training and development, early management, quality maintenance, office TPM for administration and support and safety, health and environment. These are the eight pillars of TPM and with these, uh, with the help of these eight pillars, the TPM development program can be rolled out in a factory. So taking these uh, uh, at the seventh step, taking the first four pillars, which are focused improvement, autonomous maintenance, effective maintenance, training and development. Under the focused improvement, deploy the shop floor teams and assign the projects for focused improvement or so that they can reduce the losses in a uh, continuous improvement way. Then the second pillar is autonomous maintenance. Empower the operator so that he can able to maintain his machine by himself such as cleaning and lubrication, removing the eliminating the causes of a defect generation by the machine, cleaning the surrounding area of the machine, changing of uh, small equipment in the small parts of the machine. These kind of activities can be taken under the autonomous maintenance and the operator must be trained accordingly. Now come to the effective maintenance. The effective maintenance is the core activity of the maintenance department. And in this pillar, the maintenance department execute corrective, active, corrective maintenance, periodic maintenance, periodically improve the wear and tear out uh, parts which are going to be wear and, wear and tear and uh, may produce the breakdown in the equipment. And similarly, predictive maintenance if some part is need to be changed before its expiration that must be changed in the machine to avoid the breakdown in the machine. 
so the objective of the effective maintenance is achieve zero breakdown breakdown condition now come to the training and development train group of team leaders and accordingly they will share their knowledge with their team members so continuously improve the knowledge of the team leaders so that they can improve the knowledge of their team members now come to the eighth step and in the fifth pillar of the uh, fifth pillar which is early management early management starts right from the design of the equipment and the design of the manufacturing process through which the product is going to be manufactured so it is uh, to develop easy to manufacture product and easy to handle equipment and try to achieve the zero maintenance condition so there uh, there is a chances that no maintenance is required for a machine with the help of early management now come to the quality maintenance quality maintenance try to establish and sustain zero defects conditions no defectives could be produced by the machine and could not be passed to the customer then come to the office tpm for administration and support the main objective of office tpm is to support the production and maintenance department and under the office tpm the employees who are working in the office they may increase their own efficiency and develop more effective office equipment now safety health and environment this pillar ensures and create a zero accident and zero pollution environment so with the help of these eight pillars the tpm is actually implemented or rolled out in the organization now in the phase 4 it is the confirmation phase that the tpm is actually implemented and when the tpm is actually implemented there is a need of upgradation so set the new targets study what you have achieved study how much losses you have reduced study how much productivity you have improved study what is the current what is the previous efficiency of the plant and the current efficiency of the plant and compare these two then set the new targets higher targets and then go for the tpm price therefore through these four phases the tpm can be implemented with the help of 12 steps tpm program now let's have a quick recap of this video first phase is preparation announcement of tpm implementation by top management publicity campaign and tpm orientation for senior management finalization of targets and policies of tpm implementation establishment of tpm steering committee and pillar wise sub committees then come to preparation of tpm master plan so this is the preparation phase now come to the kick off phase it includes official information to the customers and suppliers that we are going to implement tpm program in our particular plant or in our organization then come to the third phase which is roll out actually roll out or actually uh, roll out the tpm with the help of eight tpm pillars then come to the consolidation study your success how much you have achieved 
and confirm that you actually implemented the TPM in a particular plant or in the organization and set the new targets and go for the TPM price. So this was all about in this video regarding the 12 steps of TPM implementation program. If you have any question or suggestions regarding this uh, video, then drop your feedback in comment box. Like this video and share this video among your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe, Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel and press the bell icon. So whenever there is a new video uploaded on the channel, you may get the notifications about the new video upload. Thanks for staying with me. Have a nice day. See you in my next video. Thank you.